Yeah. Now, uh, going back to the time when it the during the gold rush, um, th there, are, there are different stories. I mean, I, I can't exactly say how many people were here, but I mean, uh, there states anywhere between 15,000 and 25,000 people were here during the gold rush in Lilith and the, the, the surrounding area. Um, on my site, Little Stories of the Past, I have got uh, tons of old photos uh, showing just tents and stuff down the, uh, you know, down the roads and stuff. So, um, yeah, uh, um, before Little became Little, this used to be called Cayuse, Cayuse Flats. Uh, Cayuse meaning horse. Yeah, um, that's why we have the Cayuse Creek. Um, yeah, so uh, then um, it became Little. I'm not a hundred percent sure on how they. I heard story. I heard a story that when Simon Fraser, because all the natives came here before the before the Europeans come, all of this is where the natives come every year to do fishing. Now there were battles every year, battles over fishing areas, right? Because you know the Mount Curry natives would be battling the uh, the Kamloops natives would be battling for an area. You know, um, even the Chilcotin natives would come down here because. Of course, they're catching their fish a lot sooner. Not only that, it was so dry and hot, they could dry their salmon and bring it back. It was so much easier. Well, they battled steadily. Uh, and then uh, one of the old timers, an old native timer uh, from around here, told me that the battles quit when one of the great chiefs were killed. Everybody just stayed where they were at that time. Now, my understanding it was the Little Watt people from down Mount Curry Way, the Little Watt people that were fishing there when Simon Fraser come down the river. And when he stopped, he asked, you know, what is this place or whatever? And, and of course they said, well, Little Watt, you know, they don't, you know, they were the little. So I believe that's how we got this. This became Little Watt. When we got Little Watt Lake down there and Little Watt people down there, yet this is Little Watt here. So. Uh, it sounds like it's something that could be true. Again, I'm, I, I, I won't say that for 100% as the truth, but um, it made sense to me. Because, uh, yeah, why else would they have all that little and everything down there when little was here? <laughs> I thought, well, come on, move that lake up here, you know, and put it right next to where, or, or I'll switch that to Seat Lake and call this one, you know. Um, yeah, there, there's been a lot of changes in this town, just even in the, the 60 almost 64 years I've been here, a lot of changes. We see a lot of people come and go, a lot of good people. Um, Lillooet, and I guess every other town is like Lillooet, where we always had uh, very memorable characters. Um, we had characters like, uh, there was a guy um, that used to call Soup Bone, and then there was a, a woman used to call Roadrunner. Um, these, were, these were amazing people, they were, um, like for instance, the Roadrunner, she was nicknamed the Roadrunner because um, she just ran around and she's skin and bone, and just ran around like a little Roadrunner. Um, and Soup Bone was her best friend. They were always drinking, they'd always drink together. Uh, we had old Frank Barner from the Talking Dog Ranch. Now, as you go on the railway tracks, there's the, the bridge that goes across, it takes the train across the other side. Well, just on the other side, there's a house. And now this guy used to be there. He was the, the living there to look after the bridge so that, you know, back in the day they had problems with bridges burning and stuff like this because, you know, whatever. Um, so, but they called his, the place over there Talking Dog Ranch because, and, and I mean, I never got over there to find out, but they said he taught his dogs how to talk. Uh, so they called it the Talking Dog Ranch. Um, we had one of the most beautiful ladies. I mean, she actually, uh, I, I was very fortunate to get to know her quite well. Her and her family was Edna Steves. Um, she was so unique to this place. Um, her family used to be in circuses. Uh, so and she, everywhere she goes, Edna had a pocket full of little doggy treats because every dog she met, she'd give treats to. And just a very colorful person. Um, and, and again, People like that, you never forget. Uh, we had old Vern Cody. Uh, he was one of the most amazing cowboys you could ever have. He rode everything. Um, he, was, he was quite an amazing man. Uh, sadly, he you know, he ended up somebody ended up stabbing him, and and uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, we've had a lot of uh, real amazing people.